हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इंटरव्यू पॉइंट सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू शॉर्ट एरिस ऑफ ए स्ट्रिंग्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्ट्रिंग लेंथ सपोज फ्यूचर प्रोवाइड एन इनपुट आई लव माई कंट्री सो आई वॉन्ट आउटपुट लाइक आई माई लव कंट्री बिकॉज इट माई आई एम हैविंग वन वर्ड माई इट्स टू करेक्टर लव इज फोर करेक्टर्स कंट्री इज सिक्स सेवन करेक्टर्स लाइक दिस ओके बेस्ड ऑन दिस करेक्टर लेंथ और वी कैन से वर्ड लेंथ आई वॉन्ट टू शॉर्ट आउट दिस कम्प्लीट स्ट्रिंग ओके गाइस सो बिफोर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद दिस वीडियो गाइस आई स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड यू प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो रिवर्स ईच वर्ड्स ऑफ अ सेंटेंस इन जावा इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच प्रीवियसली सो दिस टू प्रोग्राम आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर एन इंटरव्यू सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन माई नोट पैड हियर सो सो दैट इन दिस नोट पैड आई हैव जस्ट ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द जावा प्रोग्राम प्रोवाइड एन इनपुट आई हैव जस्ट क्रिएटेड दीज थ्री लाइन in this line it will ask you to provide an string so th this is just instance i have created for the scanner and this str variable i will uh, store the input that is provided by the user okay guys in the next step what i have to do i will uh, convert this string into the string array for that i will use the uh, split method okay guys and then uh, what i have to do is uh, i have to uh, sort the string based on that so for sorting the string i have just created one method inside this method i have to write the logic yes. okay guys so now let's uh, create our logic first what i have to do is i have to create the array of string type so what i will do here i will first create a uh, string type array so string a r so i will say the name of the string array will be the str a r r will be the array name okay so i will i need to use here split function so i will say str dot split and here when i will get one space into the string then i have to split the string okay guys suppose user provide any input i love my country so when after i we will get one space i after love we will get one space after my i will get one space so i want to split the string when we will get one space okay guys so that's why i am using here one space and then so when we will get one space at that time i will split the string okay guys so guys in the next line i have to find out the length of the string okay guys so i have to create one integer variable so i am just creating the uh, variable name str length okay guys so you can take any variable just naming convention okay guys so i have to use str a r r dot length so this is the sorry here uh, else will be the small letter okay so here here i am getting the string length okay by using the length property now what i have to do is i have to call this uh, sorting method okay so that i need to call here so before that i need to uh, write the logic inside it okay so let me call this method and then i will write the logic so first to call the method that is very simple because we are having a static method so i can call directly by choosing its name short and what i have to pass here i have to pass this array of string so s t r a r r okay guys so that's it after that i have to print the output okay here okay now let me implement this sorting method so in the sorting method what i have to do is so it is asking one uh, a string array so i am passing here a string array okay guys so that is done here so what i have to do with this string array inside this method first i need to find out the length of this string array to find out the string of length i have just created this one so i am just going to use this okay int arr length so i am just using here uh, i will use here l e n okay so that uh, our name will be the difference okay so we will not confuse okay so that it is uh, arr length and here l e n okay guys so we, we don't have now any confusion okay guys so after that what i have to do is i need to create one for loop int suppose i is equal to okay guys so this is the for loop i am using here now inside this loop i have to write our fun functionality so that we can sort the string okay guys now first of all i have to find out the word okay so inside this string i have to find out the word to get the word one by one so what i have to do is i just create one variable i'm just going to create one variable string type and i'm saying here word okay so how i will get the word so i will say str a r r is nothing but this variable of i 
i is nothing but this one okay so this one will be the i and i will get the word inside it okay so first time what i have in i i am having in i i is equal to one so guys as you know that in the array or array is always start from zero index so in the zero index we are having i in the first index we are having love so here in the i what we are having here in the zero index we are having i and the first index what we have we are having love so in the first time what we will get love okay for the our string okay so you can have any string i'm taking this string i love my country for the example purpose you can take any string okay guys so first time i will get here love okay because we are having i is equal to one we are starting our loop from i is equal to one okay so now inside this i need to create one more loop so what i have to do is i need to create first of all i need to create one more integer type variable so i'm just creating uh, one more variable integer type okay so i will tell you why i'm just creating this so i'm just giving the name of this variable i n n okay for the naming convention okay because we are having inside the for loops so that's why i've just uh, given here i n n okay for my understanding purpose so you can take any name i minus one so what this will give us we are having first time one and this what we are doing here i minus one so here the first time what value we will get zero get okay guys so this line it will do like this so this line will perform like this okay guys now what i have to do is now i have to write one while loop while and here i have to write conditions so i will say here in greater than zero i will check if r in is nothing but this one this value is greater than zero or equal to okay guys and one more condition i have to put here and and so suppose word dot length guys i am not using ide so there might be a typo mistake okay but make sure you have to be careful so less than here h t r a r r of i n n dot length okay so it will be the function okay now it's done now i need to write the logic inside this while loop this while loop is very important for us to short the string okay guys so let me write the logic and then i will tell you how this logic will work okay i and n is nothing but minus minus okay guys so then what i have to write here i this line is very important here st i am just going to change the value of this str arr so here i am just going to change the value so i and n plus one what i will assign here i will assign here word okay guys so this is now done okay and here in the top in the main method i am calling this sorting uh, function okay after that i need to print the output okay so i'm just going to remove this line okay and i will write here i also need to use for loop here because we are having multiple words so what i have to write here i will use for loop so for int i is equal to zero i less than ar length guys please watch the previous video because that is very important to understand the logic i have told you how we are creating this logic so that is very important to understand i'm not going to tell you how this for loop will work but i will tell you how this for loop will work and and how this while condition will work okay so i'm not going to tell you this one otherwise our video will be very long okay so i'm just explain i'm skipping this one this thing to tell you but you have to understand from the previous video so what i am just writing here suppose system dot out dot print i'm not using here print ln because i don't want every word into the new line so that's why i'm using only print here first i have to write one space after the word and then here what i have to write here str a r r of i so guys this program is not done here and then let me let me tell you how this for loop will so guys suppose we will get str of arr suppose we will get this string so this is our string in our case i love my country what we are having into the length variable length variable first time what we are having we are having length of this array of a string will be the four because we are having four or one two three four so a string length will be four okay guys so now let's understand this for loop so how this for loop will work so in our case we are starting our loop from i is equal to one to i less than of length length is nothing but this one l e n length and i plus plus we are increasing the value of i okay guys, so the first time what we are doing here in the we are getting the first word okay so in our case what we will get here we will get here 
uh, in the we are having i i is equal to 1 so we are having uh, we are passing i to this array so in the first index what we are having in the first we index we are having love okay so we will get love here okay guys so in the first time we will get love and what we will get here we will get here and uh, we are having i and i value what we are having first time we are having first time i value is 1 and we are we are subtracting y minus 1 where what we will get value in in we will get 0 okay guys so in the value it is checking the condition in greater than or equal to 0 yes this condition is true and this is one more condition here word dot length so word dot length what we are having first time love so what is the length of this word we are having 4 okay and again what is this string of array of 0 in the 0 index what we are having in our case we are having i okay so the length of this thing i length is 1 i length is 1 so we are putting this condition here less than is this condition true this condition is not true so our controller will not go here and also not go here okay and then what we are having here and then it will uh, go here and it will increase the value of i now i value will be 2 okay guys because first time we are having i value is 1 so now it will be 2 and it is checking the condition what we are having in length we are having length in 4 so i value is 2 so this condition is true if this condition is true then we will go inside this for loop okay now let's understand so what we will get here next time now i value is 2 so what we will get here to my so i will get here my okay guys we will get my here and this is the previous one and what we are having here i and what we are having in the value of i i value is 2 so what we will get here now we will get here 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 let me check this condition so i and n is nothing but 1 and it is greater than or equal to 0 yes this condition is true now we will check this condition okay so what we will get here word word dot length so word dot length what we are having in the word we are having my so word dot length what will be the word length is 2 and less than what we will get here we are having in i n n what value we are having we are having 1 so what we will get here in the first index what we are having in the first index we are having love so what is the value length of love love length is 4 so is this condition true yes this condition is true if this condition is true and this condition is also true so we are having now both the condition is true so guys we are using end operator here so in this case we are having both the condition true okay both the conditions are true then we will execute this logic okay so let's understand this logic what it will do okay so here in this case what we will get a string of a string array of i n n i n n what we are having we are having one plus one so what we will get here two actually two okay so in this what we are using here actually in the second index we are we want to replace the value okay so here we are what we are doing we are changing we are changing the value of this index so of this index 2 okay guys here and then what we are having here a string of array and then i in and what we are having in we are having one okay so one so what we are having in the one index we are having love so what we will get here here we will get our index will be suppose we will get here love love is also will be here okay in this case okay guys i hope this is now clear and now what it is doing it is subtracting the value of n so what value we will have now here we are having now value is one now it will go here again it will check the condition the condition is true or not so let me check so i n n greater than equal to zero yes because we are have we first time we are having so here we are having one we are subtracting the value of n so what we will get here zero and then now again it will check the condition so let me check this condition i n n greater than equal to zero yes this condition is true because we are having zero in i n n variable and now we will check this condition okay guys so let me check word dot length what we are having in the word length so we are having word length is 2 so we will check we are checking this condition and then what we are having here so in this case let me tell you what we are getting here str of arr in 
in what we are having zero so what we are having in the zero index we are having i so this will be the condition okay guys so is this condition true no this condition is not true so does this the line executed no these line is not uh, these lines are not executed because this condition is not true so our controller will not execute those lines okay guys now we will come out this loop and then we will check this okay what this will do this will do what let me tell you so i n in i n n is nothing but zero and one zero and one what we are having now so actually our string till here we are having our array like this i love love country okay guys now our array will change here okay so this line is very important here now le let's understand how this line will work so we are having str arr of i n n i n n is zero plus one and then we are having here suppose one we are actually changing the value of this one okay one first time we are having zero and we are adding one so index one we are changing the value of index one okay guys so and what we are assigning here word so by default here what we are having in the word we are having my so here in the first here what we will get so we will get here my okay so we will get my in this our case okay my and then our string will be like this i my love country okay guys so our string is sorted if this string is very lengthy then it will also execute this loop thus likewise okay guys so i hope you understand this for loop and then what i have to do i just need to execute this program okay so first i will save this program and i am removing uh, unwanted code here from here okay so it, it is not required i'm commented line actually you if you want to remove you can remove so we are having the sort string file name so because our class name is sort string so i'm just going to save this so in inside the java tutorial i'm going to save this file dot java i'm saving the file name with the same as our class name let me save okay now open the command prompt cmd and then i have to move to the location actually it is in d drive okay guys we are have just saved so it is in d drive so let me go to the d drive first at d cd and now d drive cd i am having java tutorial folder first i need to compile this program to compile this program i have to write java c and the class name class name is short string dot java okay so our com program is compiled successfully now you can see there is one file is also generated okay now i have to run this so what i have to write here java short string now you can see enter string so it is asking to enter a string so i will write here i love my country so what we are getting here i my love country we are getting the output as expected so i hope guys you enjoyed this video Please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching this video. Guys, please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. This is my blog URL. You can check it out. Guys, if you have any doubt, you can ask me through comment. Please provide your feedback. Thanks.